Hi there, another short video in the Traverse training series. Today we will demonstrate how you can get the office labeled with barcodes so you can begin using Traverse. As we have been implementing Traverse in medical offices across the country, we have noticed a few things that merit acknowledgement. There are four main types of installations. One, offices that have other systems in place such that charts are already numbered or labeled with barcodes and some of the patient and chart information is already in electronic format. Two, offices that have other systems in place such that the charts are already numbered or labeled but do not have barcodes, and some of the patient and chart information is already in electronic format but there are still paper charts. Three, offices that have other systems where the patients are already stored electronically but the charts are not in any system. Four, though we have not actually encountered this yet, offices that have no system at all. Even though Traverse has built-in import-export capabilities, we at PCS recognize that most offices do not have the staff required to format the data properly to be imported into Traverse. We offer as a service a one-time initial import. Traverse has the ability to print barcodes for existing charts, or create and print barcodes for charts that will be labeled for the first time. Okay, let's get started. Imagine that we have already imported patients and charts and need to label the office. Labeling the entire office may be a huge task unless we break it down into manageable chunks. Before we start labeling charts, we need to make sure that our locations are labeled. If each shelf is labeled with a barcode, we can pull all of the charts off of a single shelf, type them into the text box as shown here, and then print them on Avery stock. Once the labels are printed, affix the correct label to each chart and then move them to the correct location using the move transaction. If this is the permanent location for the chart, you can also set the default put away location by using the transfer transaction. This can be accomplished by using a Zebra LS2208 barcode scanner or any USB scanner that emulates keyboard input. Traverse can also utilize a batch scanner like the CS3000. In this way, the put away and move can be achieved by using the batch interface. We will talk more about this in a different video. What if we have imported patients into Traverse, but there are no charts? Traverse has the ability to add a number of charts per patient and print the barcode labels of the newly created charts. Traverse can add charts to every patient or to a selected list of patients. If, however, there is no data at all to import, the patients need to be added manually so that charts can be created. This concludes part one of labeling charts with barcodes for the first time. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can download all of our software from our website.